Good evening, Good evening everyone. everyone. How's it? How are you? How are you, Rob? Baruch Hashem. Baruch Hashem. How's everyone? Fine, Salam. thank you. Oh. Ah, Chodesh Tov. Chodesh Tov. Dr. Lez, how are you? Chodesh Tov. Chodesh Tov and Vorach. Who's with us else? Louis with us, Brian with us. Who else with us? I see Orna with us. Hello, everyone. I see Philip Kalman with us now. Hello, Philip. Philip not joining us yet. He's on the way. Okay. Baruch Hashem. Many people joining us. Good. Hello, Philip. Good. It's nice to see you with us, Philip. Dr. Les, I'm waiting for your news. <laughs> So, you know, this week we're going to have uh, Yom Azikaron and then we're going to have Yom Ma'atzmaut. Yeah, and earlier Yom Ma'atzmaut. Earlier. Earlier Yom Ma'atzmaut. The Allah has said, because Yom Ma'atzmaut is supposed to be on Shabbat, that that's Hebiya. I'll speak about it just now. But because they don't want to have Hilule Shabbat, they didn't postpone it to Friday, they postponed it to a Thursday. To avoid uh -huh. any Hilule Shabbat that has been that can happen on a Thursday. You follow? So yeah. the real day is actually on Shabbos, and we'll speak about that Shabbos. That's basically the subject of the show today. Hey, be. But I'm not going to speak mainly about the Yom Atzmoto. I'm, I'm hardly going to speak about it. I'm going to speak about the meaning of Hey, be. from a spiritual point of view, to see what is Hey, be. And we'll see who was the first one to reveal to us the secret on well, a Kabbalistic regard. Yeah. Wonderful. Sorry, well, Brian, to say to something, Brian. Brian, did you mention something? Sorry. No, it's okay. Thank you. No. Okay. okay, no problem. No problem. No problem. Who else there with us? Okay. So I think that I'm going to start the show. I'm going to mute everyone, if you don't mind, with your permission. I'm going to mute everyone. Mute. All, everyone muted. And Be'ezrat Hashem, Na'aseh v'natzliah, Be'ashem alenu, Be'rahama v'yarviah. Okay, so we're going to delegate the show to Nishmat Esther Kaden Bat Ketia, Mordechai ben Rahma, Harav Avraham Haim ben Eliezer Yaakov, Tamar bat Zehava, Rachel bat Malka Sultana, Rivka Lea bat David, Esther bat Moshe Halevi, Nishmatam tiye tzrura betzur ha'im, velrefuat liora bat Miriam, Shmuel ben Michal, Menashe Naji ben Farha, Orna Bluma bat Miriam, Harav Avraham ben Marina, Rav Shlomo Yehuda ben Dalia, Harav Moshe ben Devora, Devora bat Esther, Yedidia Zelik, בן אשירה רחל, משה מאיר בן חנה, חיים נחום בן צבי הכהן, who else? חנה שרה בת דבורה, שלמה פנחס בן שינה, מרדכי דוד בן לאה, משה בן דבורה, בעזרת השם רפואה שלמה to all of them, ובעזרת Hey Biyar, what do we know about Hey Biyar? That's the question that we have to ask ourselves. Now, when I say Hey Biyar, obviously you're all going to jump and say, listen, it's your Matzmaut. It's the day of declaration, the day that the United Nations actually declared regarding the states of Israel. And then David Ben Gurion in Hey Biyar 1948, declare about the state of Israel. 
that's basically what people know about ABER roughly. But today I'm going to look at it from different aspect, completely different aspect. What is ABER? From the a matter of fact, what is the spiritual significance, let's call it like this, of ABER? And to them, as a shame, we try to find out what is ABER mean? Is it just another day that happened that the state of Israel been declared, or there is something behind it? And Be'ezrat Hashem, Hashem Berahama, Yervia, and give us a bit of Yishuv Dat to try to explain what is Hebiyah. Okay, so we have to understand that according to the mystical, according to the Kabbalistic rabbi, okay, the mystical rabbi, Hebiyah have a special significance. It's not just another day. It's not a day that in Eretz Israel they call it Yom Mangal. Yom Mangal is the day of the bride. No, 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 no. That's not why Hebiyar is. I know today things changed. They came out of proportion. If you go to Eretz Israel, wherever you go, everyone brying, everyone celebrating. But that's not what Hebiyar. And by Zrat Hashem, I try to explain the spiritual significance behind it. So the first one, actually, to speak about it directly, that put a lot of emphasis to Hei B'Iyar, was Ariya Kadosh, Rabbi Itzha Luria Ashkenazi. He born around 487 years ago in Jerusalem. That's mean 400 and 87 years ago, the state of Israel wasn't even exist. Because the states of Israel, a matter of fact, didn't exist. If we look now, it's going to be exist only, only for 73 years. But here come the Ariya Kadosh, Rabbi Haklu Ashkenazi, that born 487 years ago and say that Hey Biyar have a special spiritual significant. And he said like this, listen what he said. In the end of Shara Yehudim, the, the Ariya Kadosh didn't wrote the book Etzahayim. A matter of fact, who wrote it is his student, the Maharu, or behind Vita. And each chapter there, they call it Shara, okay? In the end of Shara Yehudim, he talk about Hey Biyar. And he said that Hei Bi'iyar is the 20th day of counting of the Omer. That means Hei Bi'iyar, it's a Yesod Shebatif Eret, we call it. Okay, bonding in compassion, if you translate it to English, okay? And he said like this, I'm going to read it in Hebrew, and then I will translate it to English. Vekol inyan Geulat Israel, that means all the redemption of the Jewish people, okay? Talui bayomaze, it depends on that day. That means the idea of the redemption of the Jewish people depends on what? On what? Remember carefully, hey biyar. That's the 20th day of the counting of the Omer. And it's Yesod Shabbatif Eret, bonding and compassion. Remember that. And he say, aval, but, that means he said that he doesn't got a permission to explain and to, re to reveal to us what's going to happen on that day. But I'm going to bring you a verse from Megillat Ruth. And in Megillat Ruth, he say like this, imi galech tov, what does it mean imi galech tov? Listen to that. The acronym of Im Yigalech Tov. It's Aleph, Yud, Tet. Aleph in Gemariah is one. Yud is 10, together is 11. Tet is nine, together is 20. He's referring to the 20 days of the counting of the Omer that fall when? On Hebiya. That means here is the secret already revealed to us from Megillat Ruth. So look how old the secret of Hei Biyar. Let's continue. Rabbi Hillel Mishokolov. I don't know how many of you heard about Rabbi Hillel Mishokolov. Rabbi Hillel Mishokolov born 
264 years ago. He born in Belarus. He was the student of the Gaon Mivilna, and he wrote the book Kolator. Kolator is a book of 150 simanim, call it 150 chapters, and it's all speak about the Geulat Israel that the Gaon Mevina revealed to him. That means the redemption of the Jewish people. And the Gaon Mevilna, okay, revealed to Rabbi Lel Mishokolov. A matter of fact, he was a cousin. The Gaon Mevilna was a cousin. I mean, Rabbi Lel Mishokolov was a cousin of, <coughs> of, uh, of the Gaon Mevilna. And Rabbi, uh, the Gaon Mevilna, Rabbi Eliyahu Ben Shlomo Mevilna, okay, he born around, 301 years ago. And he said, this is a mahloket there. Some people say Lita, some people say in Vilna, vice versa, what difference does it make? He born around 301 years ago. And there he said that hey, be ya. That, remember, Rabbi Lel Mishokolov bringing the name of his Reba, the Gaon Mi Vilna. That hey, be ya. Again, he referring, it's the Yesod Shebatif Eret. Okay, that means the fit of Yar, it's the Yesod Shabbat Iferet. Vekola Inyan Aruhani. What it mean in Yana Ruhani? All the spiritual work of the Jewish people penned on that day. Okay? Velachen, and therefore, Tsarich li Zaher Bekach. People have to be, be very careful on the fit of Yar, that, that Yesod Shabbat Iferet. Velachen. ביום זה צריך להיזהר בעבודה הרוחנית של ישראל. That's me, that he come to tell us. The hey be'yav, it's the bonding and compassion. It's the 20 days of counting of the Omer. It's the fifth day on the month of Iyar. And all the spiritual work that the Jewish people have depends on that day. That means if we take that day and spiritually take it seriously, studying and daven properly, we can see miracle. Rabbi Yeshua Bisut, listen, that's Rabbi Yeshua Bisut live in our generation. He lived in the north of Israel, actually he lived next to Haifa in Kiryat Atta. He write a lot of books regarding the, the, the mystical behind the books of Ariya Kadosh. He explained a lot of the books of the mystical of Ariya Kadosh. And in his book, Venismeha Bi Yishuato, he say, he tell us what the Gaon Mi Vilna say. Listen what he bring. That the Gaon Mi Vilna say, Ki beyom hei bi yar, on a fit of yar, on a fit of the months of yar, okay, that that's again, we're going to fall this Shabbos, this coming Shabbos. En kohot aresha yecholim leazik velishlot. That you see, bringing in the name of the Gaon Mivilna, that the evil forces on that day have no, no control and they cannot harm the Jewish people. So spiritually we see that Hei Biyar is a very special day. But that's not the end. Now we're going to go to Rabbi Nachman mi Breslev. Rabbi Nachman mi Breslev born in the city of Mezebuz. Mezebuz is a city in the Ukraine. He born around 249 years ago. And when he left the city of Breslev, okay, it was on the 4th of Iyar, on the day the 4th of Iyar. And on the way to Uman, when they was traveling to the city of Uman in, in, in the Ukraine, he traveled with his student Rabbi Nachman mi Breslev. And he told him that hey be yar, that the fit of yar, that that's the day of Yesod Shebat Iferet, again, bonding in compassion, okay? I'll, I'm gonna read, I'm gonna say it in Hebrew and then I translate it to English. Yesh bo sodot gdolim. That means that day there is a big secret on that day. What is it? Shekshurim legeulat Israel v'tzarich le'akpid ba'avodah haruhanit. That means on a fit of Yar, there is great big secret regarding that day. Okay, that regarding the redemption of the Jewish people and people should work spiritually 
on themselves on that day, especially the Jewish people. Okay, before I continue, I wanna stop here and I wanna summarize what's happening. So we see from here, something very, very interesting. We see that all the gedolim that we know, that we hear, the Hasidim, the Kabbalistic rabbi, the mystical rabbi, and I'm gonna bring a few more now that you're not gonna believe, telling us that the fit of Yah, mystically, is a very powerful day for the Jewish people. Let's continue. And now I'm gonna bring the famous, I don't know, he was here in Johannesburg close to 20 years ago, 15 years ago, if I'm not mistaken, more 20 years ago. That was Arav Meir Mazuz. Arav Meir Mazuz, he born in Bnei Brak. He born in the year 1945 in Bnei Brak. Okay, uh, it was around 76 years ago. Yeah, 76 years ago, yeah. And he is the Rosh Hashiva of Kisera Hamim in Bnei Brak. And he revealed to us a secret regarding Hei Biyal. And he said like this, he said in a book of Daniel, in chapter 12, verse 13, if you wanna check it up, remember the book of Daniel, chapter 12, verse, 4, verse 13, okay? It said like this, Ashre, he said, when he heard that, he couldn't work it out. What does it mean? Yagia leyamim elef shloshmot shloshim vhamisha. I will explain now. I will translate that verse to you. Praise the person that wait and will reach to the day 1,335. And he couldn't work it out. What does it mean? What does it mean? And in the end, the Kadosh Baruch Hu revealed to him, he opened his eyes. And he said that the matter of fact, that was the beginning of the redemption of the Jewish people. He said that was the beginning of the declaration of the state of Israel. How did he work it out? Listen what he said. We all know that the Second World War, when is it ended? In 1945, that the Nazi regime disappeared from the world, okay? And in the year 1948, 1948, in Hebiya was the declaration of the State of Israel. Listen how we explain that. Say, the Gaon, Rabbi Meir Mazuz like this. He said, if you count, from Rosh Hashanah, from Rosh Hashanah, 1945, okay? Until Hei Biyar, 1948, okay? You'll see that the amount of day from Rosh Hashanah, 1945, to Hei Biyar, 1948, it's exactly 1,335 days, and he counted. He say, that here it's revealed to us from the time of Daniel regarding the declaration of the states of Israel that's gonna be on Hebiyah. Arab Itzhak Ze'ev Halevi Solovechi. He was the son of the famous Rabbi Haim Ibrisk. I made a mistake last week and I wanna correct it that I say it was the Hazon Ish, but it was Rabbi Itzhak Ze'ev Alevi Soloveitchik, and he said like this, that the declaration of the state of Israel was a smile of HaKadosh Baruch Hu to the Jewish nation. Smile, it's only the smile. That means we are still in the beginning of the redemption. That means Havle Mashiach. Now, I would like to stop here and I would like just to summarize everything again. So we see from here that Hei Biyar, it's a very spiritual day. It's not been declared 1948. Maybe the states of Israel been declared by the United Nations, by David Ben-Gurion, that it's the states of Israel. But that day was waiting from the first day of creation, Nakadosh Baruch Hu said. 
The declaration of the states of Israel going to be on Hei Biyar, Tiferet Shebayesod, okay, the bonding in compassion, okay, on the 20th day of counting of the honor. Now, these, if you, if you remember, I don't know, on Thursday, there was a bit of Shaila. What should we do on Yom Ha'atzma'ut? Should we say Tahanun, Halel? All different questions that have been thrown in the air there, and I decide to clear it. I want to clear up the air for everyone. We think that it's very important. So, Harav Yosef Shlomo Kainaman, he born in Lita 135 years ago. And he, when he came to Israel after his family been killed and destroyed by the Nazi Yemach Shemam Vezichran, he came to Eretz Israel to Bnei Barak and he start the Ponovich Yeshiva. As a matter of fact, his nickname is the Ponovich Rebbe. That's what they call it. And Rav Shlomo Yosef Kainaman have, he was such a good talker that many people ask him to come and to represent the religious movement in a Knesset. And he didn't want. It's a different story, it's not for now. And he'd been asked, does he say Tahanun on Yom Ha'atzma'ut? Okay, or does he say Alel and Yom Ha'atzma'ut? That's the question that he'd been asked. And he answer the person that asked him like, the, <clears throat> like this, and he say like this. I do what Ben Gurion, what David Ben Gurion do. That's mean. David Ben Gurion, we all know that he was an atheist. He never David. So he said, Ben Gurion doesn't say Tahanun on your match mode. I don't say Tahanun. Is Ben Gurion say Halel in your match mode? I don't say Halel in your match mode. But, but he point and he makes sure that the flag of the state of Israel gonna be raised on top of his yeshiva and gonna be flying. That was his wish and that's what he command. And until today, Rabotai, in Hei Biyar, that's your march, <coughs> that's your march moment, the flag of the state of Israel been raised on top of his yeshiva and it's flying near. That's a rab. Kainamen, Arav Yosef Shlomo Kainamen, remember. And he was the Ponovich Rebbe. Now, many people ask what's happening else? Arav Ovadia Yosef, that you all know, he born in Baghdad around 101 years ago. He, he explained to him and many, he was the one of the greatest poskim that we lately have. And he and many, many other posts in Paskin, okay? That, and his shoe, and his shoe, he makes sure that on Hei Biyar, okay, he never used to say Tahanu. On Hei Biyar, when he was davening, he never said Tahanu, okay? Also, he said like this, he said that regarding the Hallel, he, he said Hallel, if you want to say, you can say Hallel. Sorry, I need to drink something. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat got dry. He said like this, Tahanun, he never used to say. So he'd been asked, should we say, because there's some of the Rabbonim say that we should say Tahanun, uh, say, we should say Hallel with, with, a brocha. He said, to say Hallel, you can say. But to say with a brocha, there is a chance of bracha levatala, and you should cancel it, and you should rather not say it, because the bracha levatala. There is a brocha levatala. So from here we see that one of the Sephardim great poskim, and everyone agree with him, that on Hei Biyar, we don't say Tahanon, it's for sure, because he never used to say. You want to say Hallel, you can say Hallel, he said. And he continue and say in Yabia Omer Helek Vav, okay, Siman Mem Zayn, Mem Aleph, Mem Aleph, not Mem Zayn. He said like this. He said that we should thanks Akadosh Baruch Hu. And that's what he used to say. 
להודות ולשבח, to praise and to thanks the Almighty on that miracle that we have the state of Israel. And he explained like this, he said that while the British was, was in control of the state of Israel, was in a state of Israel 650,000 people. He said, I'm talking to you now around 10 years ago, 15 years ago, that in a state of Israel was over 5 million. Today is much more. So we see from here that the British didn't allow Jewish people to come. And we know that's a fact. You know, there's the white book, Asefer Alavan. We know all the secret that they didn't want Jewish people to come to the state of Israel. As a matter of fact, they stopped them. Not only that, boat that used to come, they used to drown them. So he said like this, on hey be out, that that's the bonding of the compassion, the day of the bonding of the confession in a sphira, that means when we count the Omer, that it's the 20 days of the Omer, and it's the fifth day of the month of Iyar, that was the declaration of the state of Israel. On that day, we should thank Sakadosh Baruch Hu that he given us a state. How many Jews was outside the land of Israel? And he revealed to us that how much we have to thank and to praise HaKadosh Baruch Hu that allowed us to have our own states. So Rabotai, I'm gonna just now stop and I'm gonna give time and then for question, if I can answer. We have to understand that hey, be yar, nahon, it's the day of the independent of Israel. We should be happy, but we should understand that the happiness that we're celebrating today is not the happiness that our sages want us to celebrate. The celebration should be spiritually, because by that, that if we're going to celebrate Hey Biyar spiritually, we can, as a matter of fact, speed the redemption of the Jewish people, the complete redemption. Why? And he explained like this. And many of the mystical rabbi explain, and they say like this, that Today in Eretz Israel, Eretz Israel is not independent. We still underneath the authority of the United Nations. We have to report to them. If America tell us not to build them certain areas in Eretz Israel, we don't build. There is still, we underneath Kohot Umot Olam. That means the nation. They still dictate to us. He say, you know, when we become completely independent, when the Mashiach will come. He said, but the hey biya, it was the revealing of the starting, the starting of the redemption. By that, that we got the state of Israel, it's already beginning of the revealing of the state of Israel. But what should we do on hey biya? We should work on our spirituality on that day. And now this year, Baruch Hashem, hey be yar, fall on Shabbat. And everyone have no excuse because you can't switch fire. You can't turn the music. All the excuse gone. This Shabbos, Be'ezrat Hashem, I would like to appeal to all of you and to appeal to all of those that may be hearing it on the internet. And if you can convince anyone else, this coming Shabbos, Rabotai, this coming Shabbos, Parashat Metzorah Tazria. This Shabbos, we read two parashot. To appeal to everyone that you know. If you learn one hour this Shabbos, try to learn two or three hours more. This Shabbos is Hebiya. This Shabbos, it's bonding in compassion, the 20th day of the counting of the Omer. And like Ariya Kadosh, Rabbi Tzhak Luria Ashkenazi, Hagra, the Gaon Mivilna, the Rabbi Nachman Mibreslev, Rabbi Lev Mishokolov, that bring in the name of his rabbi, Rabbi Yoshua Bisut, that bring the, the what the Agra say. All the mystical rabbi explain that that day that we should 
all the, the spiritual work of a Jewish person penned on that day, that we should work on that day. So if you go and study by yourself, read to heal him. What's better than to read to heal him? That David Amelech, Daven to Akadosh Baruch Hu, and said to him, the person that will read to heal him, listen to that, it's equivalent to the person that learned the Gemara of Menahot. That's one of the difficult Gemarot that we have. Zvahim v'menahot. So if you can't study by yourself, or you don't have books, or the ladies, read Tehillim. The spirituality, the work, the work spirituality of all the Jewish people penned on that day. That means there is a bigger secret behind it. It's all to be particular. It, the spirituality of the Jewish people on that day for each one of us depends on that day. Not only that, if we want to speed the redemption of the Jewish people, that means that the Mashiach will come speedily, this Shabbos, have the power. Why? Because hey, Biyar is uh, Rabbi Yeshua Bisud bringing the name of the Agaon Mivilna, the Agra. I read it again. Kohot Aresha. That means the evil forces. They have no control on us, okay? And they cannot harm us. So this Shabbos, about if each one of us will take this Shabbos seriously, that bonding in compassion, we can change a lot for the Jewish people. And who knows? if we cannot stop the disease that's running in the world. That's this coming Shabbos. Uh, if you have question, Bechavod, uh, mm -hmm. unmute the microphone and you can ask. I'll just have something to drink because I'm almost dry. Uh, Rob, it's Mark speaking. Sure, Marky, how's it? How are you? How are you, Rob? Good. Baruch Hashem and yourself. Baruch Hashem. I hope that you enjoyed the show. I know that it's a bit very heavy. Much, very much. But, but one question I want to ask. Uh, they brought, um, as you said, they brought uh, your Ma'at forward to Thursday. Are we saying Halal on Thursday or on Shabbos or on both? Oh, very good. Very good. So on Shabbos, on Shabbos, it's Hey Biyar. Yeah. What if First of all, Marky, let me, let me explain. What is Halel? Let's understand. What is Halel? Praise Before me. I answer you, I want you to answer yourself. Hello? What's yeah, happening? Yeah, I'm listening. Uh, I'm here. Mark, are you listening to me? So I can see you because I listening. see a half of you. Now I can yeah. see you. Now I can see you. <laughs> for, for a minute, I saw just up to here. <laughs> okay. so, Mark, let's understand. Then what is Halel? Let's take the word Halel. Halel is and pray. And we'll try to explain. Right, to praise Akadosh Baruch Hu, Yeah. Okay. What do you say in Halel? Tehillim. Verses of Tehillim, Nahon? Correct. Am I wrong? So I'm no. going to ask, what's wrong with saying those verses on a Thursday, and especially on a Shabbos? Nothing wrong. <laughs> you can say it every day. <laughs> Here's the answer. Here's the answer. Oh, as long as you don't say brocha, Rabotai, first of all, to wish all of you Rosh Chodesh Tov, I forgot. Iyar, Iyar, the acronym of each word, Aleph Yud Yud Resh. Ani, Aleph of the word Iyar, Ani, the word me. Yud Yud, it's the name of Akadosh Baruch Hu. Ani, Hashem, Ruf Echa. That means this month, Iyar, is the month that Akadosh Baruch Hu kill everyone. And I would like to take the opportunity that Akadosh Baruch Hu will send Refua Shleima lekol chole amu Yisrael, bechol makom shem. Amen. Wherever they are, to wherever they are in the world, that Akadosh Baruch Hu will send them Refua Tanefesh or Refua Taguf, the spiritual healing and the physical healing. 
when I say spiritual, yeah. some people suffer from depression. The Kadosh Baruch Hu send them refuah shlema to the spirituality. A Kadosh Baruch Hu will send them speedily heal. For what? For the physicality, the body. Ani Hashem Rofecha. That mean that Iyar, remember that. Alef, Yud, Yud, Resh. Ani Hashem Rofecha. There is a segula in this month, the Chodesh HaRefuah, the month of curing. Okay, so before, before I forget, now I'm going to go to answer our friend Marky. So nothing wrong with saying Hallel. I'll I tell you the truth. I'm trying every Shabbos to finish all the, 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 the Tehillim of Shabbos. Every Shabbos, uh, mm -hmm. it doesn't take a lot, it takes 10 minutes, 15 minutes maximum. What I'm trying to tell you is, so you say, say to him, say, say to him, say the poem of the healing. You want to say, say it, what can be wrong? What, what wrong can you do? You understand mm -hmm. me, Mark? Nothing. Yeah. As yeah. much that you say more to heal him, it's better for the Jewish people. Extra protection. Good. Thank you, Rob. Definitely, so definitely you can say, just remember, there is a big mahloket. And most of the poskim today agree that you can't say with the brocha. Ado, tzionut adatit, tzionut adatit ba'aretz, still say that you should say with the brocha. But most of the poskim today say, you can't say with a brocha because we're still not 100% independent. And I explained it. Because still today, America dictates to the Jewish people in the states of Israel, not in the states of America, in the states of Israel, that when we can build, how many houses we can build, how much property we can have, how much land we can take, although that it's our land. So we still underneath the authority of the nation. That mean that today we still not a hundred percent free, and that's why the people say you can't say it with the bocha. Mm -hmm. You want to say alel for sure. You obligated why to praise Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Okay. We have to. Yeah, we're gonna say on both days. Yeah, nothing wrong. Should call. Thanks, Rob. I drove to the full hall layer. To recite oh, the full hall layer. So now that's the question that the yeah, next that's thing. What I want I, to know. So if you want to say the full halal, you can say the full halal, as long that you don't say brocha. But usually, if you don't say a brocha, you don't say the full halal. But yeah. what's wrong with saying? I agree. If, <laughs> Louis, I hope that I answer yes. you. Yeah, that's the answer be without the without the broker, yeah. I'll still say the full hala. I do again, I say there is some people today in Eretz Israel that say, no, look, we're living in Eretz Israel, we merit to receive Eretz Israel, we should say with the Brocha. But the Mahloket become how can you say if you're not a hundred percent independent? Sure. Well, we say on a day that we've been redeemed. Mm. On a day that special day, okay? So we say, why don't say Halel with the Brocha? Because like I explained to Mark and like I explained earlier, you cannot yeah. say Halel when there is, when United Nations suing us, okay? Yeah. Or whatever the, or Buba I don't know why they're suing us. But <laughs> when in Iran or in any other country like Syria that they kill hundreds. Not a word said. No, no, Nothing. no one speaking, no one even mentioning. Sure. You understand the difference? So we're not yeah. independent. And those that want to say that Israel is a state for the Jewish people, everyone agree. And Baruch Hashem, we got a land. Akadosh Baruch Hu actually smiled to us as, as we heard. <coughs> As I brought, Hakadosh Baruch Hu actually smiled to us. As say, Arav Yitzhak Zev Alevi Solovich. But that still doesn't give us the hundred percent independent. We mm. think that 
dependent, what we're not in a state of Israel. And sure. we see when, when Russia, when we sent missile to, to Syria, you remember that story? And yeah. the, the Syrian shot a missile, anti-aircraft missile, and killed the, the Russian. They shot the Russian airplane. Syria blamed the, the Israeli Defense Force, the state <laughs> of Israel. Yeah. Why, why did you didn't report to us that you're going to attack? Do you understand no. the stability? I need to tell you that I'm going to attack. <laughs> you're supplying all the ammunition to Syria. I need to let you know. <laughs> <laughs> Did you understand what's happening here? So we definitely yeah. not independent. But to say Alel, we every rabbi agree that we should praise the Almighty on that day. Nahon, wait, one thing I forget to mention. There is some congregation, some community that a matter of fact say on that day, Tahanun. What can we do? There is also those, the, the, our brothers, they want to say Tahanun. But most of the Rabbonim, everyone, and I brought the Rabbi Yosef Shlomo Kainaman. Rabbi Shlomo Yosef Kainaman, it's Yeshivat Ponovich. Yeshivat Ponovich is not Kipot Srugot. Arav Ovadia Yosef is the head of the Sfaradim. Arav Mordechai Eliyahu also. I brought everybody. Obviously, uh, at Noat Yonid, all the, 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 the Zionist religious movement, obviously they don't say. Everyone agree that on Be'yar, you should not say Tahanun. Tahanun you definitely not say. But, but, you want to say Halel? Say Halel. You're obligated to praise HaKadosh Baruch Hu. But from here to say bracha, it's a big difference because yes, hashash le bracha le vatala, the Arab of Adi Yosef Paskin, that the person that say that that halel with a bracha, the bracha le vatala, kacha gam pasak the Ponovich Rebbe, and many of the others. Nachon, Nachon, when it was the declaration of the state of Israel, the Rabbanut Rashid the chief rabbinical state of Israel declared that you should say it. It was in that time also Arav Gorin amongst them and many other rabbis, if I'm not mistaken, Arab Haim Oziel, I don't remember all of them, that they say that you should say with the Brocha, but today we see that we're not independent. And that time they thought that we're independent. Now that we get the state of Israel, we can do whatever we want. It's not exactly like this. No, they're still if dictating to us. They not only dictating to us, <laughs> they tell us what to do. <laughs> yeah. We call whatever we want. No, I agree with you there, Rolf. But it's I think it's be a privilege to say halal on oh, Thursday oh. and on Shabbos. For sure, for sure. I tell you a matter of fact, I'm gonna say halal. Yeah, I'm gonna say halal as well. Yeah. And I'm yeah. not doing yeah. tough. No, so so what's what's the problem? Extra tehillim. Extra tehillim. No problem. For the... What's no problem. It's good for the Jewish soul. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Rabota, any other question? Maybe you want to ask uh, regarding Hey BR. I don't know who's with us. But... Hello? Anthony, Anthony here. Oh, it's Anthony. Antonio. Hello, Malaykim. How are you, Mr. Antonio? Yeah. Oh, thanks. Should one take off the tefillin before saying halal? On Thursday morning, should one take the tefillin off before saying halal? Why? Why? Only in Musaf, only, let, let, me, let me explain. Only in Musaf, you should take tefillin. Thank you. Because Musaf is odd. We don't say Musaf. Where does it say that you say Musaf? I didn't know that. I never heard. You follow, Anthony. Musaf is the odd. Is a sign. When we dive in Musaf, then we should take the feeling. Nahon? Yes. So why why you want to take the tefillin? I mean, what's the I don't understand. What's the Hidush here? Maybe maybe I'm missing something. What's what's hiding behind it? Is a special thing you're trying to tell me? I mean, I don't know. No, because maybe, on Yon maybe 
Maybe Anthony means Lesakta Shalosh Regalim. We take the tefillin off before halal. Yes. Yeah, but, that, but Mark, that's that's, a, that's different. When you're blessing the month, you take uh, you've already done the amida, and before no, you, but on the shalosh you, you, you have to take the off the tefillin during the week. We we take off the tefillin before halal. Okay. But on uh, Rosh Chodesh, we only take it off before Musa. Yeah. Now, the regalim at Marki, I need to correct you. In Shalosh regalim, there is a machloket bechlal if you should put a tefillin or not. You understand? Mm. When you yeah. touch regalim, you talking about you talking about hola moed. Correct me. Hola moed. Yes. Yeah. Okay. In hola moed, bechlal yes machloket. There is a machloket. I remember. Rabbi Tender used to say, you follow the tradition of your father. Nachon, bidu, bishwal zani omer mahloket, mahloket, mahloket. Now, if you look, the Sfaradim have no question about it, none of the Sfaradim put the feeling. If you remember the late Rabbi Tenza, Rabbi Tenza used to sit in the end and never used to put the feeling. You remember? Yeah. Nachon. Aksha. You mixing between Hola Moed and Rosh Chodesh. Rosh Chodesh, after Amida, immediately mm. we say, immediately we say Musaf, Nachon? Right. You agree with me? Musaf, we do not take the tefillin. You follow Anthony? Anthony, are you with me? Yes. Okay. So you don't take the tefillin. When do you take the tefillin? After we finish, before we start, before we start Musaf, Shazeot, that that's a sign, only then we take the tefillin. And when we dive in Musaf of Rosh Hodesh, we dive in without the tefillin. That's our stand, yes. Yeah. So here you're asking, should you take the tefillin straight before you saying the? Hello. What's the what's what's the hiddush with this? You still have to say after that Ashre. You still have to say all the sh shir shel yom alenu yeah. l'shabe. Sorry, and the and Ariya Kadosh revealed to us that people should not take down the tefillin until they finish alenu l'shabe. Why? Listen, what Ariya Kadosh said. Ariya Kadosh say, what is the davening? You asking, you asking, you dive into Akadosh Baruch Hu. I need help. I need prosperity. I need, 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 I need. And when it's come, the final, the final step to receive, you take the tefillin and you run. <laughs> you didn't get all the prosperity because the gate of heaven opened in the end of the davening. Alenu leshabeah. I made a show about it. Maybe I should repeat about it and we should all listen to it. Alenu Lishabeah, it's person have to stay with his tefillin and not to quickly rush and leave the shoe. And while he's stepping out or while he's going out of his house, if he dive in today at home, to say Alenu Lishabeah. Alenu Lishabeah, it's when the all the prosperity and the abundance come down from heaven to the person. So in Alenu Lishabeah, a person should stay with his tefillin until he finish. You yeah, follow. we finish off with the, with the yeah. psalm of the day and then you take off your tefillin. I agree. You understand? So that's the idea. You follow now, Anthony. Okay, yeah, I see. Okay, yeah, I see, yeah. Okay, but say that. Any other question? Mark, Louis, any other question? Brian? I think you know, we've covered everything, Rolf. I think we've covered everything there. Thanks, Rob. That was really, really Philip good. Philip does. Really Philip, good. question. Hilton. Everyone else okay? Good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Robota, I would like to take the opportunity to wish you all a great week. Uh, first of all, to wish you Rosh Chodesh Tov Vorach. Tomorrow yeah. is Rosh Chodesh. And on Tuesdays, also Rosh Chodesh. To wish all of you, first of all, Rosh Chodesh Tov Vorach, Iyar, remember, acronym, Ani Hashem Rov Echa. Just have it in mind, and you're going to heal from all your sickness. Be'ezrat Hashem, 
that mm-hmm. Akadosh Baruch Hu will bless the Jewish people wherever they are, that we should have a new Rosh Chodesh, שיחדש עלינו את החודש הזה לטובה ולברכה, לששון ולשמחה, ולבריאות קטנה לכל חולי עמו ישראל. רבותיי, אמן, אמן. Have a good night and all the best. Peace God. Have a good night. Thank you. Good night. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye.